watering as appeared in 73, 74. When I close up the partnership, if I'd had an endowment fund to run then, the prospective return, and actually I wrote this in a letter to my partners that I'd be glad to send you a copy of, the prospective return, uh, and I was looking at them as individuals on an after-tax basis, was about the same, I felt, from equities and from municipal bonds over the next decade. And it turned out to be more or less the case. Um, I would say that I, I, I do not regard that as being the same situation now. If I were mark managing a very large endowment fund, for one thing, it would either be 100 percent in stocks or 100 percent in long bonds or 100 percent in short-term bonds. I mean, I don't, I don't believe in layering things and saying I'm going to have 60 percent of this and 30 percent of that. Why do I have the 30 percent if I think the 60 percent makes more sense? So, I, And if you told me I had to invest a fund for 20 years and I had a choice between buying the index, the 500, or a 20-year bond, you know, I would buy stocks. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean they won't go down a lot, but, it, but if you, I would, I would rather have an equity investment. I wouldn't rather have an equity investment where I paid a ton of money to somebody else that took my stock return down dramatically, but simply buying an index fund for 20 years of equities or buying a 20-year bond, I would, I would, it would not, it would not be a close decision with me. I would, uh, I would buy the equities. I'd rather buy them cheaper, you know, but I'd rather buy the bond with a bigger yield too. But in terms of what's offered to me today, that's the way I would come down. Charlie? Yeah, I don't think that was the answer that was expected, but that's the answer. <laughs> That doesn't have a thing to do with where we think stocks, or we don't think at all, but where stocks could be or bonds could be. Into it. We, we don't have the faintest idea where the S&P will be in three years or where the long-term bond will be in three years. But we do know which we would rather own on a 20-year basis. We'd, we'd also expect that the current scene will cause some real disruption, Yeah, but not too many years ahead. That's true, but if you go back 100 years, you can almost say that, you know, at almost any period, and, and you will get disruptions from time to time, and it's very nice if you have a lot of cash then and you have the guts to, to do something with it. But predicting them or waiting around for them, that sort of thing, is not our game. And, I mean, we bought $5 billion worth of, of equities in the first quarter or something like that. And, you know, we don't think they're anything like well, they aren't, they're not, it'd be a joke to even compare them to 1974 or a whole bunch of other periods. But we decided we would rather have them than cash, or we would rather have them than sit around and hope that things get a lot cheaper. We don't spend a lot of time doing that. Uh, it, it, you, can, you can freeze yourself out indefinitely. So anytime we find something, in, what we think is intelligent to do, we just do it. And we hope we can do it 